tonight we go back in time to a structure that throughout the years has been used by earls, madams, smugglers, witches, cults and devil worshippers. Tonight we go back in time stealth camping. Our home for the night, Rackton Ruins, Rackton Monument, Rackton Folly. It's an 80 foot tall structure built in the year 1772, commissioned by the second Earl of Halifax either as a summer house or as a tower so he can watch his merchant ships dock at a nearby port. Now from a bird's eye view, this structure is set in a triangular formation. Most probably the magnet for the cults and devil worshippers who have flocked to this place for over 100 years. With the most recent report being that of the year 2009. There's also reference to the monument being used as a brothel in the 1800s. The ruins have seen illegal raves, graffiti, occultists, and paranormal investigators. Local law suggests spectral sightings that include flying bricks, faces in windows, and a ghost tractor that drives up behind you and then disappears. The ruins have also been the site of suicides. I don't think these are the original 1772 artwork. Whoa! So, the place is in a pretty bad condition. So much rubbish being left around. Lower level 
where we're going to be tonight is reported was uh, primarily used for banquets. You guys can see there bricks falling out. There's potential in that to be the flying bricks. But we'll see. I'm not sure who would want to stay here. Back in the day, yeah. Yeah, I would have stayed here back in the day, back in 1772. But tonight, I'm staying here anyway. So this place would have been a viable option for a Halloween stealth camp. The reason that it wasn't was because of the um, sheer amount of foot traffic that comes through here. Now, mid-February, a bit of rain in the air. I'm hoping no ghosts, ghouls, witches are going to visit us tonight. But you never know. That's why we have our quick deploy sleep system. So if needs be, we can just slide out of that, throw it in the bag, and we're out. As for exits, we obviously have the main way in and out and we also have some farmland that we can escape to if we need to we've got to have those exits as for now I think we're gonna make ourselves a coffee Here's our food bag. Pots, water, and right there is our quick deploy sleep system. We whack it out, we blow up the roll mat, and we're done. So right there is the second floor and there's no way I'm going to be able to get up there. Not with this bag on me. And down here it looks to be the place where there's the least glass. So I think this is where we're going to uh, lay down our quick deployment bag after a little bit of a clean up. So they've been trying to have a fire in there at some point. So here's some history for you. A man named Mark Talbot, an accredited architect, purchased this structure back in 1987 with the means of transforming it into a dwelling. The trouble is, he was denied permission by reasoning of an unsympathetic form of development. So now he's stuck with this. I don't think that's a win. So another interesting piece of history here is that of the Ragdon Man. He was a warrior chief who died in battle and he bled to death from sword wound. His skeletal remains were discovered over 4,000 years after, in 1989, in the farmlands outside of this structure. So with all this history present, we might as well have ourselves a little ghost hunt. Now I'm not necessarily a believer in ghosts and I'm not a non-believer I'm just meh you know so yeah we're gonna have ourselves some fun and get on with the ghost hunt we're gonna use ourselves a little app for this ghost hunt are there any spirits present here with us hot 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 me I'm hot So, maybe
maybe there is a spirit present with us tonight who thinks I'm hot. Hello. Okay, how did you die? How did you die? Do you have internet access? If so, please subscribe to Mask Outdoors. Okay, well this app isn't doing much. So we're gonna go ahead and try a different one. Are there any go are there any spirits present with us here tonight? How are there any spirits present with us here tonight? Dead? How did you die? Did you live here? I don't know guys, I don't know about all of this stuff. Let's try the other one again. Any spirits available to speak with us here tonight? Anyone at all? The fuck? That's the wife. Hello, babe. Ah, back to business. Are any spirits available to speak with us here tonight? to do with your mind. Your mind plays tricks on you and that's all it is. I'm not saying it's not real, I'm just saying your mind is your worst enemy a lot of times. Especially when it gets dark. A macaroni was far superior warm. Yeah. But it's something. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Hopefully we'll see you in the morning. I think we're good. We'll be alright. I'll see you guys in the morning. Just 
starting to get light now. <sighs> Did not sleep well. Did not sleep well at all. So I'm going to get out of here. It's just an eerie presence, an eerie presence around here. So yeah, we're going to scoot one out of here and uh, call it a day. Okay, guys. So I just got my shit together. One of the things I always go by when camping is to go with your go with your gut instinct, go with the vibes. If it's a positive vibe, then you're all good. But if you get those negative vibes, it's not a good thing. And it's our sh human inhibition to know when you should leave. Either that, or I'm just letting all of this stuff kind of get to me. Maybe that's what it's supposed to do. To ward off other people. Who knows, but you know what? I'm gonna skedaddle on out. What the fuck? Yeah. We're getting out of here. If you guys like this video then please leave a thumbs up and if you want more videos from inside the woods and inside haunted structures then please subscribe. Thank you for watching as always it's been emotional and I will see you on the next one.